a look at two experimental films screened at the Cavolivari Film Festival in the section Another View. Dormir al Sol, meaning asleep in the sun, comes from the Argentinian director Alejandro Chomsky. Another view is dedicated to films which take an unconventional approach to cinema. Blending fantasy elements with the real world, the film tackles the tricky magic realism genre. It's a very difficult genre, the magical realism. If you ask me to define the genre in one word, I will say it's a fantastic piece. But as you said, it has a black comedy inside and, um, and a thriller and it's a period piece. Um, and it's uh, funny, uh, but it's uh, not that funny what happens in the story. So has a lot of um, Tati and Buñuel elements. Chomsky creates an atmosphere of disquieting serenity in this Kafka-esque tale of mental illness. The film has received mostly positive reviews from the film critics. The next film screened at the Czech Film Festival was The Mill and the Cross by Polish filmmaker Lech Majewski. The film is inspired by Flemish master Peter Bruegel's epic canvas, The Procession to Cavalry. Bruegel is, is, is a painter who creates his own world, which I inhabited a long time ago. I mean, I. I spent a lot of time in front of his paintings in Vienna, in Kunsthistorische. And uh, he always pulls you in, you just enter his world like the world of Fellini. The film's off-center visual approach uses old and new technology to allow the viewer to somehow get inside the painting. Depicting the lives of the characters who appear in the painting, Mayuski highlights many religious and philosophical issues. I mean, the films that are escaping themselves and escaping people, it just all is based on speed. Fast cutting, running away from the theme, from the interior of the people, from the essence of, of our existence. So Bruegel, for me, is a... Con contemplating artist who sort of brings me back to myself and brings me back to the world which was somewhat ordered. A Swedish-Polish co-production, The Mill and the Cross has already been released in Poland and Greece. It's had rather mixed reviews from critics, some hailing it as brilliant, others as simply boring.